he just shot me, he had just killed his mom, and he takes the video game. Now, nobody is ever going to convince me this is not a severe addiction. Mark Petrick and his wife were shot by their 16-year-old son, Danny, who was angry because they would not let him play his favorite video game. And Danny came in, and he just said, hey, Mom, Dad, um, hey, guys, uh, can you do me a favor? I have a surprise for you guys. Can you close your eyes? Then he shot his mother four times, killing her instantly. It grazed right across there. Mark was shot in the head but survived. That was four years ago. We had no clue that it was that serious or that he would get that angry over a video game. Ryan Van Cleve thinks video game addiction is real. He compares his two-decade-long obsession with playing video games to drinking compulsively. So now, he doesn't play at all. And it had cost me my friends, it had cost me my health, it was costing me all the relationships that were important to me, and it even cost me a good job. In researching the subject, he says he didn't find any good books on the problem, so he decided to write a book about it. And I realized that no one wanted to step forward and take on this responsibility and the shame that went with a pretty uncool, unhip addiction that a lot of people are going to debate whether it's addiction or not. Some experts say there is no science to support it as an addiction. They say many people get involved in things that interest them that they spend a lot of time doing. Video game addiction is not part of the diagnostic manual that's released by the American Psychiatric Association, uh, nor is it something that has been uh, studied in great depth to determine whether or not it is an addictive disease or not. However, the psychiatric community is considering whether it is a real addiction or not. They are discussing including it in an appendix of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders in 2012 to encourage further study. I do believe that there is video game addiction. There are some people who are compelled to be on their video games and they do it as absolutely as much time as they can and it interferes with their life. But experts add playing video games too much is often a symptom of underlying problems and extreme cases of people becoming violent because they are not able to play are something different. That is something that's really quite disturbing and would suggest other problems in addition to an addiction. Mark Petrick believes violent video games do have negative effects. Most parents have no clue how bloody, how gory, how terrible these video games are. Consumers can get guidance as video games have a rating system label on them that indicates the age appropriateness and the content. Daddy Petrick says he will never go back to playing violent video games. He is serving a 23-year prison sentence. His family has forgiven him and visits him regularly. Marina Hutchinson, The Associated Press.